you may be getting tested. Let me say this. You may have been in sin. So now you have decided to live for God now. Or you may have been living for God for years. Now you are going through some issues now. Things that makes absolutely no sense. How can this go wrong? How can this misunderstanding happen? How can this confusion be brought forth? How is this possible? What is going on? Is it me? Is it something that I am saying? Is it something that I am doing? What is going on? You may be asking yourself this. Let me say this. I am not speaking about people who are cursed, people who choose to disobey God. Those people are cursed. Even if they are rich or whatever else, you don't know what is going on in their lives. So don't wish to be like someone when you don't know their whole life. You only see one aspect of their life and you are wishing to be them because they have a nice car or a nice home. When you begin to live by the rules and regulations of God, of the Bible, you are going to be tested. I am going through something now and it really makes no sense. Let me say this. Let's say for an example, let's say that you are trying to get somewhere and you can take route A and it is going to take you two minutes to get to where you want to be. But someone else wants to take route B, which takes an hour. And you are thinking, why not take Route A? It makes much more sense to take Route A. But that other person wants to take Route B. And let me just keep it at that. <laughs> it makes no sense. Why? go through something more than what you have to. You may be getting tested. So, I was praying throughout the whole thing. And last evening, I was praying about it more. And I was telling God how I felt about it I was telling God about my thoughts about it and I was somewhat confused. So some answers came to my mind or I guess you can say the conclusion came to my mind. And what came to my mind you are being tested. And I kind of knew that at first, but I just wanted to take Route A and wanted that person to go Route A with me, but that person refused. Why go Route B when it is so easy to go Route A? So 
So I was trying to figure out a way to get this person to go route A with me. So it came to me that I was being tested or I am being tested. And it came to me as well, or when I learned that I was being tested when I prayed that evening, well, I kind of knew that I was being tested before, but it was even more confirmation when I prayed last evening. So I was thinking to myself or saying within myself, I guess you can say, since you are being tested, continue to have the right type of attitude. Don't grumble and complain as most people do when they are going through issues. Keep your mind right, keep your behavior right, Just do what you have to do and move on. This is a test. This is a test. Let me go to, let me say this. And you can say that I am wrong, whatever, but let me say this. I don't know if I said this already. Perhaps not. When you begin to follow the rules and regulations of God, you are going to be tested. I believe this, and you may disagree with me, but I believe this. The more tests you passed, the higher you are going to elevate in God. Let's say that there are 10 levels in God, which may be much more, but to make this understandable, to make this easier to explain, let's say that there are 10 levels in God. So when you begin to follow God, you are going to be tested. So let's say that you are on a level one right now. And let's say that right now your faith is being tested. If you pass that test along with others, let's say that you are going to be promoted to a level two in God. But what many people do, they begin to serve God and do His will. And when they get tested, they continue to fail the same test over and over and over again staying on the same level for years, for years. What is the point? If you are going to be tested all your life, why not pass and elevate? What is the point in serving God then get tested and continue to fall short in the same place for all these years. Why? It is not going to go away. Kevin, I continue to go to work and it seems like these people are picking on me, making me mad. Yes, yes, I agree with you. What are you going to do? Well, I am going to curse them out and tell them about themselves. 
but you have been doing that for years. And you keep sinning and going back and forth in God, staying on the same level. You are not elevating. You are going to continue to go through that same thing. Why not just pass it? It is not going to go away. Even if you quit that job or don't work ever again. My Lord. Even if you quit that job and never work ever again. Somewhere, someone is going to continue to act crazy to you, testing your patience. You can't run away from it. No matter what church you go to, no matter what job you go to, no matter what shopping store you go to, someone is going to test that area until you pass it. Then once you go to the next level, you are going to be tested in that area, but much more. you are going to be tested. You can't run away from it. Why not pass the test? And someone who rarely reads the Bible is going to ask me, Kevin, when you speak about these different levels in God and people elevating and stuff like that, elevating and stuff like that show me in the bible where it says that at some things you are not going to learn until you develop a relationship with god the apostle paul he says that we know things in part so he is pretty much saying all the information that we know about God now, about the Bible, so on and so on, we only know in part. So what is that saying? We don't know everything. So we have to, we have to depend on the Holy Spirit for answers. Because the Holy Spirit is going to counsel us. The reason why I don't fight back, as in, let me say this. How can I say this? When there is an issue, 90% of the time, I am going to back down. Even if I am right, I am going to back down and say whatever or say okay and walk away. Because I know what is going on. I am not going to fall for the same tricks that I fell for years ago. The more you learn about God, you should not be falling for baby tricks. People have been going to church for years, probably know the Bible more than I, but still falling for baby tricks. How foolish is that? Many years on the same level when you can get off that level and elevate. No matter how many churches you quit, no matter how many jobs you quit, you are going to be tested in that area that you continue to fail at. So you can say, well, it is this person here and that person. Well, when you quit that job, some new person is going to take that job of that other person that was irritating you or harassing you. You can't escape it. 
You can't. It is not about Billy and Jane. No. It is about you taking... It is about... You passing the test. If you continue to try to avoid the test or run away from the test or fail the test, you are going to continue to take it. There is no escaping it. So take it. Read what the Bible say and pass that test based upon the principles of the Bible then you are going to elevate or just stay on the same level for 20 years or so. You are still falling for baby tricks. You should be more mature by now, by far. Well, Kevin, if this person would act like this toward me, everything is going to be okay. You are being tested. It is not about everyone else. It is about you. Did not God say that he is going to avenge us? Yes. So what are you worried about? Take it. Myself, I have to take it. I don't want to take it. <laughs> I want to run and hide as well, but I know that I have to take it. And then I will elevate higher, 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 and higher. I believe this too. And I am probably wrong about this. But I believe this. I believe the higher you elevate in God, the more access you have to God as well. I believe that. I believe with the person that, let's say that, I believe that you have more access to God and I am probably wrong about that, but I believe that's true. Because the closer you get to God, the more access you are going to have to him. The further you are away from God, like I said, I am probably wrong about that, but that is what I believe. Because there are some people that are really close to God that experience some things that we may never experience. Never. Never. So would you say for that instance there, they have more access? I would think so. I don't know. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. You may be getting tested. Stop running away from your test. Go head on to it. I ran away or I tried to run away from my test years back, but I learned no. It is never going to end. I remember I was at this one job and there was these few people that would really irritate me. So I don't work there now and I do other things. And some other people irritate me now. <laughs> what I am trying to say no matter where you go, someone is going to take your enemy's spot. No matter what. So you saying that, hey, I am going to quit this church because this person here is really mean or rude or blah, blah, blah. Then you go to another church and find that some of the same type of people go to that church too. And you are being tested in the same way. So what are you going to do? Go to uh, other church? Then another church? 
than in other job on and on and on saying that this person that person when are you going to learn it is time to stop acting foolish grow up learn what the principles of the Bible are use them and pass your test You can't escape being tested. I don't know why people believe that on earth that they are going to have total peace, like heavenly peace, as if they are in heaven now. That is not going to happen on earth. If you want total peace, go to heaven. But until then, take it. Pass your test. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.